It's a gorgeous day in my neighborhood. It was in the low 80s and beautiful, beautiful day. It's not even breezy today. It was very breezy all day yesterday. Not bad, just a constant little flow. But today, not even the wind chime is chiming. It got a day off. So, welcome back to my kitchen. This program from one pound a day with my friend Shanti Clayton who is with California Homemade who makes me all these amazing soups that I have for dinner every night which are vegan organic and delicious and as you can see I am having my green juice right now and I'm here to update you with how this has all been going for me. So last time I saw you, I think it was day six or I think it was day six. And a lot has happened since day six. So I started going into my, they call it in this book, a healing crisis, where the toxins start dumping out of your um, organs and your blood and your whole body they start dumping faster than your body can process them and that's when you're really hitting the, the detox when really things have been going for, your, for several days you're giving your body the rest it needs from all the digestion from eating and stuff it has all the nutrients, as you know, that, you know, I drink every two hours some sort of healthy drink. If you didn't see my last two videos, please watch those because it talks about what I do every two hours. And so anyway, all of a sudden the toxins are dumping so fast that your body is, has a hard time keeping up with it. So you really start feeling those detox symptoms. And for me, it was, it started coming on, but then one night it just hit me. I mean, hit me. <laughs> so I remember it felt like, I guess it could feel like cold symptoms without the cold symptoms, if that makes sense. I was just really feeling sick. Like, um, I don't know, I just didn't feel well. I wanted to just go to bed. I could taste toxins coming out of my gums. I think I, that was already happening with the um, last video I did, but it was worse. And um, yeah, I just needed to sleep. And I could taste that, those toxins coming out for several days after. And then Along with that, like that healing crisis was really only the big hit was maybe a day to two days. But then I started having emotional um, detox release symptoms. So I started realizing like, you know what? Why do I put up with so much crap? Why do, um, you know, I got to stand up for my truth and be in my truth. And, you know, I know in my work, I'm probably more compassionate and forgiving and caring than most people are. But I needed to really look at that and say, you know what, yes, I'm here to make a difference. I'm here to lift those people that need to be lifted and some people need to be lifted more than other people. But you know what I decided? That's not my job. 
I got really clear. This is what happens with the detox. You start getting real cl mental clarity too. You start releasing these emotions. You start releasing the stuff that's been hidden in you that's, that you've been taking on, whether it's sadness, anger, um, taking advantage of, uh, whatever it is, okay? And uh, you start getting really, really clear, like, whoa, wait a minute, what's been happening? And no, this is not okay. So um, I started really deciding who my real clients were and who I really wanted to work with. And I don't have to dig at the bottom of the bucket if I don't want to dig around in the bottom of the bucket. And I was just thinking, I had written this thing. I had scribbled out this thing like, you know, I was getting all this clarity, so I wanted to get on paper. And this isn't the final, but I was thinking like, if I could work with anybody. So most of you are watching this, or maybe not, know that I do spiritual journeys. I take people to Hawaii, to Mount Shasta, to Peru, to Egypt, to, and I'm going to go to India next year. I just, I just take people to a lot of places for transformation, to really get clear, to really let go of, figure out what's been in their way and how to move forward and lots of stuff like that. But anyway, I was like, it's time for you in your life you are ready for the more and this or better. You're willing to go for the how, you're intrigued by the way, and excited about the results. Your transformation can look different ways. So it could be light activation healings, it could be traveling with me, or it could be dipping deeper into your soul destiny and your purpose for being here. What have you been putting off? What are you wanting to really heal in your life? What is it that has not been able to heal and what is it that you really want? Because infusion in my programs can help you get there. What part of you do you want to explore more and what part of you has not been explored? And those are really the clients that would thrill the crap out of me. Seriously. Because, you know, I, there's people that can help people at all levels. But I really want to take those people who have already seen a lot of good in their life. That really want to take their life to higher levels of fulfillment and happiness and just self-love and all that really great stuff. So that's something that I got really clear on. So the thing is that it's not just about detoxing your insides, but it's about detoxing what's around you as well. Um, really looking at the relationships around you, who you're having resentments with and what things you're having resentments with. Do you like where you live? Do you like what you do every day? Do you, what do you really want to be doing in your life? I was really just thinking through a lot of these things and this is the kind of stuff that I really like to help other people with. So getting back to what I've been doing on these days is this emotional roller coaster. Seriously, it's been, I'm not, I would lie if I would, if I said this wasn't challenging. This is one of the most challenging detoxes or cleanses that I've ever done okay and it really takes a commitment if I know that several of my clients have signed up for the spring detox that starts April 7th and if you're interested please email Shanti at CaliforniaHomemades.com and she'll send you the details about what it is what do you do what do you get out of it and how much it is and I would say first, don't just look at the price and go, oh my God, because that is your food for 21 days. And if you start thinking about how much you spend on food, on going out, on you know what you spend every day eating, it really isn't anything, believe me. It's very little when you start breaking it down and realizing it's about, um, well, if you live local, it's a lot less. The the thing is with the shipping, of course, 21 days of 32 ounces of soup, yeah, that's going to weigh, okay? So, but you don't have to cook, you don't have to shop, it's organic, it's vegan, it's what you need. If I had to do this program on my own, and you can certainly buy the book and do it on your own, 
But if I had to do that, I don't think I would have stuck with it. It's because I know my soups are coming. I know that I've invested in this thing. I can feel my insides just, it's like taking a, a rag and squeezing water out of it. And, and it's instead of water, it's the toxins that are just squeezing out of me. And to me, like there's no better gift that you can give yourself. Everybody needs a detox. With all of the environmental toxins, everything you eat, everything you drink, brush your teeth, you're getting toxins in your body. And unless your body has a way to release those, they stay in you and they build and they build and they build. And that's how you start getting sick. So if you really care about your life quality and your lifestyle and feeling good, um, 21 days of your life is not that big of a deal, but it is a commitment and you have to go into it with that mindset. Like I make my juices. I was surprised that, you know, I've done a lot of juice feasts and sometimes I'm just so lazy to make my juices and I'll go buy them or whatever. But I was surprised at how I'm like so with the flow of it that I have no problem going to the market every three days to buy my juice stuff and juicing. I have no problem doing that. I make enough juice for two days on the third day. I either have enough to make another batch. I usually have enough for two batches and then I go to the store again. But I juice every two days and it's not a big deal. I'm committed and when you're committed to what you're doing don't make this a hassle don't make this just a thing you're doing make it an important priority in your life okay you make other things a priority you make your kids a priority you make your work a priority you make your um walks down the street a priority you make a lot of things a priority you even make worrying a priority don't you You've got to go into this saying, you know what? I'm doing this. I'm committing to this. It's for my good. It's for my health. It's for my happiness. I'm, my body is just going to get clean and I'm really going to just go for this. Even when it's hard, I'm going to keep pushing through. And I'm saying this because it got hard for me. I think day seven, I got so damn hungry. I don't know why, because I wasn't hungry the whole time. But all of a sudden, I was just like wanting to eat. I just wanted to eat so bad. I was drinking and drinking and drinking any water, juices, anything. It was nothing was making me feel satisfied. I was like, let me just go to bed. And so I was annoyed. I started getting annoyed. And you know what? Our emotions want to come out of us. So things will happen for us during, I say for us during the day to help us get our emotions out of us. So I was like getting annoyed. I wasn't having fun with this. I just couldn't wait for it to be over. It was really hard. I had to keep pushing through. I had to keep pushing through. And one day I just like laid on my bed. I said, I'm just not even gonna move from my bed today. I'm just so irritated. I'm, I wanna eat, I'm just, I'm not happy. And I just laid in bed and that's what I did. So, um, you know it's waves and now is day 11 and so I have 10 more days and I finally woke up today like I feel normal okay yesterday last not last night the night before I couldn't sleep enough I slept almost a solid 10 hours and I could feel the insides of my body regenerating detoxifying okay you have to pay attention to what's going on with you every day on this thing and my body just needed that downtime even though I needed to get up and do things my body I could feel it was needing that extra just downtime to detox more and regenerate that's what's happening when you're doing this detox you are eliminating toxins and because you are not eating, you're not having to use your energy on digesting. So it gives your body a chance to work on something else instead. And it works on creating healthy living cells. It's working on your health. It's working on rejuvenating and regenerating you. Think about that. That is amazing. 
that you're giving yourself that downtime for your body to repair itself, strengthen itself, boost itself, re-enliven your organs, your blood, your muscles, your cells, everything about you. So I just listened to my body and I said, fine, I'm just staying in this bed until I feel like I'm done. And it was about 10 hours. And last night, again, I was detoxing. I could, it wasn't, um, it wasn't like hard. It wasn't like, oh, I'm detoxing like it was hard. No, it wasn't like that. I could just like smell the toxins coming out of me. I could feel that work happening because I went into these really deep sleeps, really, really deep sleep. So I knew that that's what was going on. And when I got up in the morning, I could smell myself that I had detoxed. And that's like not a normal smell for me. And I was like, whoa, okay, stuff is happening. So this thing works. And when you think about you're giving your body a chance to repair and regenerate, that's a big deal. So you have to go in this with the right attitude. It's not something just extra that you're doing. It's not some hassle thing. It's real. It's about really loving yourself enough to do this. When's the last time you did this for yourself? Maybe never for some of you. So push through the hard days, just push through it because day 11, and it's different for everybody, was finally my day where I felt good. Like I wasn't feeling like I need more than I, than I need. And I feel good, I feel um, like I can do things, like I just feel much more normal now. And so it, I'm really happy, thank you. I'm really happy and I hope the rest of the 10 days is like this. Anyway, and some great news is, yesterday I weighed myself and I found out I lost 16 pounds in 10 days. So that's pretty awesome. I knew I was losing weight because my shorts are falling off of me, literally. I'm like pulling them up, pulling them up, pulling them up. And I have stairs in this house and running up and down the stairs. I just noticed I'm just a lot lighter. But when I saw 16 pounds, I thought, that's pretty damn good. So let's see how the next 10 days roll out. And um, if you're ready to give yourself a gift of life and get ready to give yourself a higher quality of living and you're ready to give yourself higher health and happiness, jump on the bag wagon, email Shanti at CaliforniaHomemades.com and jump in. And so that's my update for today, and we'll see how this road continues to roll out for me. And I hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you all later.